and welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to uh, make a tax deductible to the extent allowed by law donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here is a problem for today for exam FM on financial mathematics. Seth deposits X in an account today in order to fund his retirement. He would like to receive payments of 50 per year in real terms, that is after inflation, at the end of each year for a total of 12 years with the first payment occurring 7 years from now. The inflation rate will be 0.0% for the next 6 years and 1.2% per annum thereafter. The annual effective rate of return is 6.3%. Calculate X. So although this is not stated explicitly, you need to assume that the rate of return of 6.3% is nominal, that is, does not, it does not take into account inflation. Therefore, the real interest rate applicable for the first six years is 6.3%, and after that it's one point plus point oh six three divided by one plus point oh one two that's inflation rate of one point two percent minus one and that's five point oh four percent after inflation real return and discounted value of the real retirement annuity at times six is fifty times a angle twelve uh, at five point oh four percent and the present value at time zero is that amount that we just calculated divided by 1.063, the uh, interest rate applicable for the first um, six years, the real interest rate, although it doesn't make any difference, it's nominal and real in this in this period, to the sixth, and that's almost exactly 306, which is answer B. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem comes from the Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.